Welcome to this CGISN podcast. I'm Dr. Marie-Sophie Melman from the Cordelier Research Center in Paris. And I'm Dr. Sophie Chauvet, nephrologist at the Georges Pompidou European Hospital. Today, we are diving into some findings from our recent study, which is set to be published in CGISN. This study is titled Rare Variants in Complement Gen in C3 Glomerulopathy and Immunoglobulin-Mediated Membranoproliferative Glomerulophritis. C3 glomerulopathy and the uh, idiopathic form of uh, immunoglobulin-mediated membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis are two fairly new glomerulopathies, both result from a regulatory defect in alternative pathway of the complement system. In most cases, the regulatory defect is due to the presence of uh, quarried abnormalities, most often on autoantibodies that stabilize the alternative uh, C3 convectives uh, that we name C3 nephritic factors. Interestingly, in 10 to 20% of cases, we also identify rare variants in genes and coding complement proteins. Most often, these rare variants are found in the genes encoding the two main regulatories of the alternative pathway, factor H and factor I, or in the main protein of the complement cascade, C3. Until now, few data have been described regarding specific clinical features of kidney outcome of C3 glomerulopathy and IgMPGN with complement gene variants. So we got curious. We wanted to provide a full picture of these two complement-mediated glomerulopathies associated with rare variant of the factor H, factor I, or C3 genes. And we conducted a retrospective study based on the French National Registry of C3 deposit glomerulopathies and idiopathic immunoglobulin mediated membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. Between 2002 and 2018, nearly 400 patients underwent genetic complement testing at the Immunology Laboratory of the European Hospital Georges Pompidou due to C3 glomerulopathy or IgMPGN. And among them, a rare variant uh, of factor H, factor I, or C3 was identified in 66 patients. And we were able to compare uh, immunological characteristics, clinical features at diagnosis, and uh, kidney survival of these patients to over 200 patients without a variant over the same period. In total, 53 different rare variants of factor H, factor I, or C3 genes were identified in 66 uh, patients. The majority, 57% of uh, patients, carried a factor H variant, followed by 25% of uh, patients with a factor I variant and 18% of patients with a C3 variant. Three quarters of patients of the identified variants were classified as pathogenic, while the rest were of undetermined significance. And clinically, uh, there weren't significant differences at the initial evaluation between patients with and without these variants, except for lower proteinuria and worse kidney function in the variant group. Most patients with a complement gen variant were adults at diagnosis. Over 60% of patients with factor H variant and over 80% of those with factor E variants displayed a quantitative deficit of factor H or factor E, respectively. A minority of patients with variant also tested positive for C3-NEF, whereas half of the patients without a variant were positive for this autoantibody. On the other hand, the levels of C3, C4, and soluble C5B29 were not different between groups with and without genetic variant. And furthermore, biological scenes of thrombotic microangiopathy were more frequently found in patients with a factor I variant compared to those without a variant or with a factor H or C3 variant. Now let's talk prognosis. The kidney prognosis was worse in patients with a C3 or factor I variant compared to those with a factor H variant or without a variant. And this poorer prognosis was irrespective of age at diagnosis and treatment received. In this study, 70% of C3 glomerulopathy and IgMPGN were associated with complement genes, rare variants. This is similar to other previously smaller studies. The enrichment of rare and pathogenic variants in C3 glomerulopathy and IgMPGN adds weight to the idea that complement alternative pathway activation is cornerstone in these pathologies. We found that this rare variant 
across all ages, even in patients over 50. This tells us that genetic tests should be offered to everyone diagnosed with this condition. Except for the presence of a low factor H and factor E level in cases of CFH and CFI uh, variants respectively, clinical and biological features of patient A diagnosis do not allow predicting the presence of a variant in a specific gene. We also demonstrate a severe kidney prognosis in inherited C3 glomerulopathy, in particular in cases of C3 or CFI variant, with poor kidney survivals than C3 glomerulopathy or IgMPG in patients without rare variants. In a nutshell, our study demonstrated that genetic form of C3 glomerulopathy or IgMPGN have a severe prognosis, especially those associated with factor I and C3 rare variants. It also reveals that screening of genetic variants in complement genes need to be proposed to all patients with C3 glomerulopathy and IgMPGN, whatever the age of onset. We also highly recommend genetic screening to be promptly perform in patients with factor H and factor I deficiency and the lack of a C3 nephritic factor in children and rapidly worsening kidney function in adults. This could add to discuss therapeutic strategy as we look towards the future with new complement inhibitors being developed we need more functional study to understand the fine mechanism of complement overactivation to better guide therapeutic strategy. This podcast is copyrighted by the American Society of Nephrology. All rights reserved. All content in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. This podcast should not be used in a medical emergency or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Please consult your doctor or other qualified healthcare professional if you have any questions about any medical condition or before taking any drug, changing your diet, or commencing or discontinuing any course of treatment. Thank you for listening to this podcast from the American Society of Nephrology.